Middle class taxpayers are M to the AD. <laughs> very upset, very mad. So we have to go all the way back to 2017 for this. The end of 2017. What happened at the end of 2017? That would be the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, the tax scam, the Republican tax scam that President Trump, you know, champion said this would be a middle class tax cut, right? He, he often said, you know what? Oh, it's not good for me. Somebody like me, rich guy like me. Oh no, I'm hurting on this deal. But middle class people. Oh yeah. You're going to benefit tremendously. There yeah. was a uh, forward phrase that yeah. you came up with, mm -hmm. um, kind of as a, um, like a, a precursor mm -hmm. to what you thought was going to take place uh, as far as economically for some of the people that trusted Trump. Right. What was that phrase? Uh, the pain <laughs> is coming. The pain is coming. Now, again, we're here in 2019 and let's see, where are we at? This is tax season. This is tax season. People are actually filing their taxes and seeing what's going to happen. Right? So really it's, it's, it's not about the pain is coming anymore. The pain is here. The pain also, is oh. here. We have some tweets from people, mm -hmm. middle class people, that uh, filed, you know, filed their taxes, did their taxes, and uh, didn't like what they saw. Uh, so this is from one person. Said, I am a Republican voter. I just did our taxes. The GOP tax bill cost my family thousands of dollars this year on our return due to changes, thereby hitting us with the largest tax free in tax increase of our lives. We are middle class homeowners and you raised our taxes. Infuriating. Another one. I have to pay $2,000 more in taxes this year. What happened? I voted for you and thought you were fixing this, not making it worse. I thought I would get money back this year. So there's another one. Uh, wait till you file your taxes. Middle class just lost half their return. Lowest refund I have ever had and I'm 50 years old. No wall and now this <laughs> tax reform sucks too. Starting to doubt Trump. You're just starting to? Uh, I voted for him and trusted him too. Uh, so the last one we want to show, completed my taxes. I filed the same every year, claiming nothing. Getting back a fraction of 2017 return. Apparently, I misread everything. Should have been called tax refund cuts because my return sucks. Thanks. Did he and others misread everything no. or they didn't read anything? You didn't those, read a damn thing. Those two things are not the same. All you did was listen to Donald Trump and you trusted him at his word in saying that it was a middle class, a middle class tax break, which it was not. We talked about it. it. The information was all out there and we don't want to get to like, we're not going to go ahead and like dissect everything, but there were several deductions that middle class families used that were either cut or they were capped. So that meant that thousands of dollars are now going to be on the tax burden those of these families. Those provisions were not kept under wraps. No. Much more was much, much more was done for the wealthiest hmm. among us, not the poorest among us, so, not the middle class. So at the end of 2018, uh, we saw corporation corporations uh -huh. reaping the benefits yep. of a bill after yep. its first year. And we also saw oh, we also see right now. Uh -huh. Uh, in the uh, the pain is here. The pain is the pain here. Is, the, the pain is here. Gotta make here. a new shirt. Yeah, we for real. <laughs> we do have to make a new shirt uh, with like maybe some like uh, images of people being mad. Um, but yeah, so it's it's uh, it enriched corporations yeah. and it is affecting regular Americans negatively. Yep, regular people. But basically, it's basically it's the same old shit. Just mm -hmm. it's been accelerated under Trump. Is there a part of you that feels for? So these people that believe that uh, Trump was going to help them economically, help put money in their pockets, does it, is a part of you that kind of feels sorry for those people? Not really. <laughs> Dang, dog, that was kind of quick. I, I, uh, I thought I, I, I was expecting you to kind of think about that a little longer. No. Maybe you could just like think. Be because see, they, they were, they invented it in their own head. You see, they invented that they were going to actually receive a benefit from this, this tax scam when everything was telling them that this was going, going to be a good deal for the rich class, not so good for everybody else. Everything was telling them that. If Trump passes it and it gets through, it's a victory for Trump. So therefore it's a victory for, victory for us. It's just that simple, regardless of the merits. So I just don't see that being 
kind of a part of the discussion in regard to just the wall. It's going to be a part of the discussion in regard to everything Trump pushes. The problem with that, though, is that it's easy to say, hey, the wall is a victory for Trump, so it's a victory for us because we supported Trump. It's easy to do that because direct negative outcomes to us an individual. It's going to take some more time to Yeah, come. it's going to take a, a lot of time for you to feel that. You're not thinking like that, though. But a Tax Cuts and Jobs Act that, in, uh, that, 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 that raises your tax burden the next year? <laughs> Remember, like I said, it's, oh, it's, if oh, it's, if that's going to be hard, if it's, man. If, if it's not about the merits, all that don't, it doesn't matter. You're not looking that far ahead. Because, again, if it's not well, about It matters merits, right now. Oh, it matters now. Oh, I know it matters. I'm just saying, their mindset, the merits of it don't matter. It's just that Trump passes something, Trump gets something done. That's all that matters. It's a victory for him, it's a victory for us, so it justifies us regardless of how it affects us. And there's going to be, probably, a large part of his base that even when they're affected ne negatively, they are going to go through some cognitive dissonance. Oh, yeah. And yeah. try to like recreate some other reality reality to why they're suffering. It's not <laughs> going to be about Trump. I guarantee you, they're not mm. going to point the finger at Trump. There will be some of those, but as we see, there's going to be a lot of people that I think that are in his base that I know one can't afford thousands dollars more that they have to pay out or that they aren't going to get back, back that they are yeah. accustomed to getting back. They make plans based on the money that they're going yes. to get back or they think they're going to get back. So that reality, man, that's going to be like a punch in the face and it is going to it is going to leave some people uh, to kind of reflect on their decision making but, process in 2016 but, and going forward to 2020. But,